see, like we had Ringwood chemist and then we went in there to get the scripts for the morphine ampules and there's like a million people and they're all looking at me probably because of the way I'm dressed and stuff and the way I look but and I just wanted to be like I just had a whole bunch of lasers in my head and I'm dying and you're all probably just got a cold or something or in there for COVID jabs or something so I thought I'd come back to the car Everything's so weird. Like, I don't know how to explain it at all. That everything, like, after this stuff happens, it's just in, like, some place that's not. Like, when I'm talking about it's interdimensional shit or something, it's like I'm in the fucking. What is it, like, the when it's like, like limbo realm now? waiting to go back to either one of the places or something. I sound nuts. But, again, nuts is a place, right? You know what's funny about Ringwood is it's changed so much, but still, I like how they kept the tower. The clock tower. Remember the clock tower? ever since I was growing up. I've been trying to think of what I can do to entertain people more with these videos. I'm not very... I haven't come up with anything cool like, like the guy that my mate showed me that has a tank. I wish I had a tank. That'd be cool. They're trying to set up a GoFundMe for me or something too, because, like, so people don't understand, like, when you're dying, everything costs so much. Like, you gotta, you got to have these meds and they're, like, 100 bucks, and you got to, like, buy food. You know, we bought food or something today, like, two sandwiches and two, like, little 200-mil drinks, and it was, like, 40 fucking $5 or something. Like... And then there's parking, and it's like, everything costs so much when you're dying. Why? I'm dying. Like, they're like, if you weren't dying, then we wouldn't be charging you so much. What's like, what is that? I really want to get more tattoos, but I can't yet, because it might poison my blood or something. I've got to wait till after chemo, but... Oh, I'm going to do so many tattoos. I'm going to do them. I've got the fucking worst headache or something. Well, I don't, because the worst one was when I went and found out I had cancer. But it's like I'm waiting for my nose to start bleeding all the fucking tumours out that they've fried. But I'm oh, sorry, I just picked my nose. Like, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm really in a state of mind of I have no idea and I'm, I'm so tired though so I've, I've got a couple of things to do when I get home and then I'm going to switch everything off and I'm going to lie down because I had to make sure that she got the morphine in case I wake up again tomorrow like what I did I can't even keep my eyes open and like it's probably the first time that I, I don't feel like a junkie I just feel like a cancer patient is that, that that's cool right like you know I think that's like not cool but you know I'm not using the right words because I'm so out of it but I just like I didn't I don't want to be a junkie like and so I was trying to like you know tough it out a better a bit better so I wasn't going to be a junkie because I said it I'm going to beat this and and I don't want to beat it and be some junkie that you know that makes sense to anyone I hope it does because that's the whole point of these videos is that I want everyone to get that life's a gift it's you're supposed to you're supposed to love it no matter what like you know kids are an issue or your partner or your job or money or there's always a solution you just gotta put your mind to it you know and figure it out 
just like I need to stop this smoking cigarettes crap and I even need to see a start to that here you go is that I keep blaming Sheena because she didn't quit when like she didn't it's not you know her life still moves on with what she wants to do or the way she feels that she can cope with things and that's cigarettes for her so I was supposed to do the right thing by myself and just not smoke cigarettes again like I didn't with the bongs but I, I, I choose to blame her to make myself feel better see so I gotta not do that again and her cigarettes are fours and they're better than the ones because my lungs seem to be hurting because I'm trying to pull ones that don't want to pull they're like <laughs> yeah I can't explain that unless people smoke ones and you know that like they're just trash so and I still got like three packets of them because I thought that was the way to go I thought it was the way like but it wasn't at all so I'm just gonna tomorrow is the last session of this stuff so then after that I'm gonna go back to the smoke free up that my sister told me about and then do that again or whatever I'm so tired I just got some weird pain in my chest but it's like videos already been six minutes like uh, time does not work right now but yeah I really hope I get a GoFundMe because stuff costs a heap um, and I don't expect people to sub to my channel so but it'd be cool if someone did just even one person and then cancel it or something because don't allow me to know how to cancel it because I don't I don't nothing's happened on it it says I've made like three dollars revenue which is pretty cool thanks to everybody for like putting the time in to watch shit and comment like especially spe some specific people I can't be bothered naming people but you just know who you are like put in a lot of effort talking to me and helping me through some of the videos especially the live streams that's why I, I, I want to do more of them live streams but I gotta figure out the best time of day you know or in a better format or something I don't know like anyone's got any advice it'd be great to hear or read or whatever like you could make a video and then post it and then link it in a comment so yeah. that'd be helpful for me um, I, I don't know I don't know who I'm asking for that advice you know oh Shane is coming so I will speak to you soon my massive now new family of human beings.